Today I'm going to be talking about the 11 sectors of the stock market. So the first one is financial sector, which consists of banks, investment funds, insurance companies, and real estate firms. Now in general, the majority of the revenues that are generated from this sector come from mortgages, loans that gain value as interest rates rise. So. Um, that's pretty safe in general, um, as long as, you know, everyone pays their rent and pays everything on time and the banks stay on top of everything that they need to stay on top of. Um, the second one is utilities. Um, the utilities sector consists of electric, gas, and water companies, as well as integrated providers. In general, the sector generates consistent reoccurring income by charging consumers and businesses that provide higher than average dividend yields. So um, basically that's pretty safe because everybody uses electricity, gas and water, including businesses as well as homes. Um, but this looks like it focuses mostly on um, consumers and businesses. So that is a pretty safe um, sector to be in as well. Um, then number three is consumer discretionary. And basically the consumer discretionary sector consists of retailers, media companies, consumer service providers, apparel companies, and consumer durables. Um, in general, these companies benefit from an improving economy Economy when consumers spending accelerates. So um, I would say like around the holidays, um, you know, um, really any holidays, Black Friday, um, Christmas, those are going to be some major holidays that people are going to go and spend a little more. Um, I would say maybe summertime and spring break. Um, definitely they have more money and they're spending more. Um, so that is consumer discretionaries. Um, number four is consumer staples and the consumer staples sector consists of food and beverage companies as well as companies that create product consumers are willing to cut from their budgets. In general, these companies are defensive play capable of withstanding an economic downturn. So um, basically anything that consists of food or beverages um, that's pretty safe seeing how uh, everybody has to eat and consume to stay healthy and fit. Um, you know, that is definitely something that you can look into. Um, so that is the consumer staples, um, which consist of food and beverages. All right. Um, number five is energy. And the energy sector consists of oil and gas exploration and production companies, as well as integrated power firms refineries, and other operations. In general, these companies generate revenues that tie to the price of crude oil, natural gas, and other commodities. So, you know, in a way, this can be stable and safe for a while, but, um, you know, you just never know um, with renewable, in renewable energy, you know, how long are we going to be able to withstand, you know, exp you know, future exploration um, and oil and everything like that. So um, it's pretty safe for now. I mean, it is a broad sector, but just be careful on what companies you do invest in. Um, number six is healthcare. The healthcare sector consists of biotechnology companies, hospital management firms, medical device manufacturers, and many others. In general, the sector is considered to be both a growth opportunity and a defensive play since people will always require medical aid. So, I mean, it says it right there that we um, <clears throat> always are going to need uh, biotech firms to keep researching and providing us with future technologies as well as hospital management firms to, um, you know, obviously manage the hospitals and all the administration, paperwork and everything behind it. And, you know, there's always going to be people, you know, I, I hate to say it, that are going to be sick, ill, um, you know, there's always going to be the need for medical services. So it's definitely a safe sector to be in, and that's the healthcare sector. 
Okay, moving on. Number seven, industrials. The industrial sector consists of aerospace, defense, machinery, construction, fabrication, and manufacturing companies. In general, the industry's growth is driven by demand by, for building construction and manufactured products like agriculture equipment. Um, so, man, we're always developing new products. We're always, um, you know, as human beings, trying to push the limits on new technologies. And just, it's an amazing sector. The industrial sector, um, I don't think it's ever going to go away. I mean, we build so much in America. Um, you know, like it said, aerospace technology is amazing. Our defense system's amazing. Um, just everything about this sector I love because it's all about growth. And it's all about just getting down to blueprints, planning, and then just going through it and building your empire or a building, um, you know, real estate, businesses, really anything you can think of. I love the industrial sector and I believe it's a really strong sector right now and all since for a while, um, for a long time. So uh, moving on to number eight, which is technology. And the technology sector consists of electronic manufacturers, software developers, and information technology firms. In general, these businesses are driven by upgrade cycles and general health of economy, although growth has been robust over the years. So, um, you know, if you guys are wondering what I'm reading off of, it is my uh, blog at, at cleverperceptions.com. Um, you know, you can go and look at this blog for yourself if you don't want me to hear me just kind of read over it and uh, talk about my thoughts. But I thought that would be a cool little setup to do. So anyways, moving on. Um, I believe the technology sector is very uh, strong right now. I know we've had some ups and downs with the stock correction right now at the moment. But um, it is a great time to buy, especially with the current price dips that are going on. Um, I just believe that technology is not going anywhere. Um, it's just always going to be there. So uh, number nine is telecom. And the telecom sector consists of wireless providers, cable companies, internet service providers, and satellite companies, among others. But in general, these companies generate recurring revenues from consumers like me and you by some subsets of industries are facing rapid change. So, um, you know, it, for the stock market, you know, telecom sector is great, but you definitely got to be aware of what companies you're investing into. Um, I wouldn't necessarily invest in any IPO tech, uh, telecom um, sector stocks, but um, like long-term stocks would be like Verizon or AT&T. Um, even Sprint right now is doing okay and it's actually fairly cheap. But um, if you want to know more about that, you can go and look in my um, Stocks I'm Watching playlist. And anyways, moving on to number 10, which is materials. Um, the materials sector consists of mining, refining, chemical, forestry, and related companies that are focused on discovering and developing raw materials. Since these companies are at the beginning of the supply chain, they're very, um, vulnerable to changes in the business cycle. So... Um, basically this is all the raw material, um, everything that we use to develop all of our products in the industrial sectors, technology sectors, basically any other sector. Um, this is where it starts is the material sector. So if we have a weak materials, um, we will also have a weak economy is what I believe. And, um, I don't, can't think of any material stocks right off the bat. Um, but I can make a video about that if you guys want. Just leave a comment. And also, last but not least, is the real estate sector. And that consists of companies invested in residential, industrial, and retail real estate. The main source of revenue for these companies come from rent income and real estate capital appreciation. As a result, these sectors are sensitive to interest rate changes. So, with that being said, the real estate um, sector can be um, very profitable and stable as long as everybody's paying their rents and um, you know they're 
appreciating over time and they're not depreciating and um, you just got to be careful with real estate stocks as well or writs or rights um, depends on how people say it but um, there are some good ones uh, right off the top of my head there is the stock ticker O and I am invested in that stock I could also do a video about that if you want just leave a comment and you know basically this video the bottom line the stock market is often divided up into these 11 sectors with each sector having unique dynamics affecting its profitabilities at different moments in time so investors looking to build exposure to specific sectors can use any number of these sectors to achieve their assets and their allocation goals so with that being said you definitely want to diversify and I would suggest be having a few stocks in each sector so when there is a few sectors down you'll always have other sectors up and vice versa um, also if something were to happen in one say the technology industry you don't have all your stocks on in just the technology sector because then your entire portfolio would be down so basically um, you know this video is just to share with you the different sectors and how they're kind of split up and you know if you have any questions just leave a comment below and that's it guys um, you guys have a great day and night and look at some of my other videos if you're still not sure on some things um, so have a great trading day tomorrow and good night